Do you reduce the volume of that TV? Let us gather. Good evening, good evening, good evening to everyone. Once you have joined, start sharing immediately. Once you have joined, start sharing immediately. We have a lot of things to discuss today, you know, very important things. Extremely important things, you know, very, very important. Once you have joined, start sharing. And look, if you have just joined in for the first time, you know that you have not subscribed to this page. Subscribe now. If you have just joined, subscribe. Even before you start watching the video, before you start watching the live broadcast, subscribe. You will see where it's written follow under the video. You follow it so that anytime I'm live, you will get a notification and you are going to be blessed. Start uh, sharing now. Share in all the groups. It's very important that everybody in PF must hear what I want to say today. For them to know that we know them and we are not going to allow them. What they are planning to do, we are going to scatter tonight. <laughs> Share. Start sharing. Start sharing quickly. Share everywhere. Once you have I'm also sharing, you can see, sharing with, uh, with friends and other groups where I belong. So do that before we progress. Today we are not going to waste time. I'm going to go straight to the point. I think 30 minutes I'm done. <laughs> and uh, uh, I leave the rest in your hand. Share. PF Kadas, uh, uh, it's very important that you hear what I want to say. And PF leaders, you know, today is about you. You know, it's very important. Huh? Because I told you that it, it will not be possible for you to rig next year's election because I am here. So it's, uh, you hear many things, but Make sure that you have shared and make sure that you continue sharing. Perfect. Good evening. Anywhere you are watching me from. You are watching me from Zambia, which is the topic, uh, the owners of this broadcast today. You are watching me from South Africa here. You are watching me from Germany. 
A lot of people are watching from USA, London, from all over the world. Botswana, Malawi, Namibia, Zimbabwe. I want to say you are welcome to this broadcast. You are Jagabans. I want to say that you have been so good to me. You have been encouraging me. You know, you have been you have been blessing me. You have been speaking good messages to me, sending me messages on WhatsApp, on Facebook, everywhere saying, see a one, God bless you for coming out to speak the truth. When everyone else is afraid of speaking the truth, see a one, you always say the truth. You know, your encouragement has blessed me a lot. Things that uh, I, anyone can come out and be afraid of saying are the things that I come out and say. And you always encourage me. I always say, when someone is playing football and you, do, you don't have encourager, there are no people that are encouraging you, people that are saying uh, you are doing well, you know what, the people that are clapping hands for you, you get discouraged. So the, the overwhelming encouragement, the overwhelming response that I get from you, it gives me so much joy. You know, it gives me so, so much joy. I want to say thank you so much. Thank you. And may you continue encouraging me because I love you so much. Jagabans from all over the world. I love you so much. I cannot even express how much I love you. I cannot even express, I cannot even tell you how much I love you. But I want you to know that I love you so much. And I will forever and forever love you. Someone says, why can't you talk about Boko Haram? We are in Africa. Opening a Facebook page is free. You don't pay anything for opening a Facebook page. And uh, buy data, create a page, and start talking about Boko Haram. You are, there is no one on earth that stops you from commenting on any issue in Africa. Because we are Africans. We are going to protect Africa. So if you are a Zambian, like you are watching me now, you feel like, ah, I'm seeing something bad in Nigeria that I need to comment. You can open a Facebook page, a YouTube page, and start talking about it. No one is going to arrest you for speaking against Boko Haram. You must always speak against Boko Haram. In fact, you must speak against our president. You must speak against anything you want to speak. No one has the authority to arrest you because we are having what is called freedom of speech. It's part of the right. It's part of the... It's part of the it's part of your privilege, it's part of the benefit of democracy. So if you are watching me right now, anywhere you are watching me from, you are seeing something bad in Nigeria that you need to talk about. Start talking about it now. You don't need to be a Nigerian to talk about Nigeria. We are Africans. If you see something bad here in South Africa, create a page and start talking about it. You can never be arrested. For calling out wrong in Africa. That's why you have freedom of speech. So if you say, why you don't talk about Boko Haram? I don't know anything about them. I don't have uh, uh, the clue about, I don't know. I don't even know where to start. Because I did not grow up there. You know, I don't, I don't have political experience in Nigeria. When you see me talking, because I'm a man of truth. I don't want to talk because others are talking. I don't want to start talking when I don't have facts. I want to talk because I know what I'm talking about because I have proof of what I'm talking about. Like when you see me talking about Zambia, I know what I'm talking about. And I was not going to talk about PF government if they did not come to me for help. If they did not come to me, if, if, if they minded their own business, I minded my own business. I wouldn't be talking about them. The reason why we are here, where we are today, the reason why they are under pressure, the reason why I am attacking them spiritually and physically, and I'm not going to stop until they lose the election next year, is because they came to me. They collected powers from me. They collected rings from me. They collected oil from me. They collected a lot of things that I cannot be able to mention here. We did a lot of a, a spiritual destruction in Zambia. We wasted a lot of things that I'm not going to mention. So all those sacrifices that we did, and they thought they are going to stand up tomorrow and start working against people. Though that is the reason why I am talking. If they didn't consult me, if I did not work with them, I'm not going to talk. So feel free to talk about Nigeria. Feel free to talk about 
uh, any other country. Feel free to talk about South Africa. We are Africans. This is our land. This land belongs to us. I am a black man. I was born in Africa. Whether Zambia, whether Nigeria, whether Africa, no matter the name of the country, so long as it's Africa, it's for us. Whether Zambia is for us. We are children of Africa. And Africa must unite. There is nothing like you are a Nigerian, you know. You are here, you know. You are here, you know. You are here. No. We don't have time to talk about that. White people have managed to uh, divide us the way they wanted us to be divided. And then they are united. They are very, very united. White people are not disorganized. White people, white people are, are, are white people are very united. They are, they are so organized. The people that are disorganized are black people. You know everything. That's why I tell uh, most of you that watch C R One. Most of you that uh, follow C R One. That's why I speak against religion. You know they have managed to divide us with religion, ethnicity politics they have really really divided us okay imagine if there was no politics in zambia you can see today upnd is fighting a pf pf is fighting upnd why because of politics such thing does not happen in america you can see america is having election donald trump will come and call uh, bidding so much name you will call him you are foolish you are, you are this you are that you are sleepy you will insult him so so much but you will never see the akadas fight each other but they brought us uh, 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 they brought us uh, this uh, uh, you can see france france will go into politics opposition is campaigning uh, 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 the ruling party is campaigning free of charge without any problem but here in africa in Zambia, you can see the war, the tension that the nation is having because of politics. This world was going to be a better place without politics and without religion. But they have brought it to us. And because they have brought it to us, we're in trouble. <laughs> if you are just joining right now and you know that you are just joining, share this broadcast. In all your groups, there is something important that I want to speak about Esso Chilu, that uh, the, 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 the CEO of ECZ, Electoral Commission of Zambia. There is a plan that I want to expose right now and everybody must hear it. That's why I say share so that they know, I know that they are watching. Edgar Lunga and his people, they are watching this broadcast now, they know that there is a trouble that see i want to review so make sure that we have shared in all the groups share everywhere on your wall everywhere let people know that see one is life let me talk something that i want to talk today as i was saying uh, it is time actually for 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 black people to unite you know it is time for africa to unite you know it is time for us to sit down and and ask for our own bible I know the, the many people, many Christian, many over righteousness people, they are going to say, oh, what's see one talking about? Of course, we need to sit down and the review Bible. Bible must never again be one-sided. Africa must be included in everything. You know, you, you don't realize that Africa, we are, we, are, we are so blessed. We are so blessed by God. Mike Lushomo said, Papa, is this life? Yes, this is life. We are so blessed. Africa, we are so, so blessed. You can't imagine. There is no, 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 no continent on earth that is more blessed, more than Africa. But all the blessings that God has given us, we have lost them all. We have lost all the blessings. God gave us rich culture. We have lost the rich culture. We don't have culture as Africans today. <laughs> not even a single culture even in nigeria where i'm coming from there is no culture everything is gone we have carried the bible and replaced everything we don't have culture we don't have food i thank god for many other countries that are still having food but countries like south africa don't have food where i am today there is no food there is no original food 
That's why many of you, you are watching this program, you say, ah, see, I want you have gained so much weight. Actually, I eat once in a day. Usually when I go to Nigeria where there is uh, organic food or sometimes in Zambia where there is organic food, I eat three times in a day. But since I came to South Africa, I don't, I don't eat three times in a day. I eat once in a day. Why? I am trying to avoid the food because there is no food here. There is no original food. In South Africa here, as I'm talking to you, the water that we are drinking is not original. It has been treated. The apple... As nice as it may be, it's not original, it's GMO. The cow, the meat that we eat, it's not original, it's GMO. The, 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 the mealy meal that we eat here, it's not original, the maize is GMO. Everything, we don't have food. There is, no, there is nowhere where we can get a food, a food that we can eat and we say this is a food. That's why I can eat just one apple in a day. I gain weight like this. And people are saying, see, I want you have gained so much weight. It's because there is no food. We are eating fertilizer. <laughs> and that's what we, white people wanted. We have lost everything, including our own food. Believe me. We have lost totally everything, including food. We don't have food. Ask anybody in South Africa. Even the food you eat from ShopRite, the food you eat from, even if you are watching from Zambia, from, from uh, Botswana, from Malawi, from Zimbabwe, and your food is coming from here, you are eating the same thing we are eating. It's not original food. It's not an organic food. It's a GMO food. And look at our body. That is why you don't actually know how blessed you are as an African. You don't know how God loved us as an African. God gave us natural land to grow our food and eat it naturally. That's why we are strong. Today we are no longer strong. Because we are not eating proper food. Believe me. The, the, the chicken we are eating is a fertilizer chicken. A chicken that grows within two weeks. And we eat it. And our body is dying. Our body is dying. That's why people are not realizing that we are actually being, uh, you know, I don't want to say so many things. I wish it was on, uh, I wish it was on, uh, on, uh, on YouTube. I was going to say many things. But because of Facebook, I have been wanting to censor some of the things that I say. But people are actually not noticing that the more we eat this food that they are giving to us, the more we are, our immune system is going down every blessed day. Because there is no food. Everything is fertilizer. Everything is GMO. You know, everything is gone. Believe me, come to South Africa here. Even orange... Ordinary orange. Eh? It must be a fertilizer orange. Every food we eat. And, and we, we are actually eating it without, uh, without, uh, without thinking about the, the, pre, the, the, the predicament. Uh, I don't want to say many things. But first of all, uh, there is a man of God that died in, uh, in America. Uh, if I think it's Evangelist Morris or something, something. They said he died because of pneumonia. God has given African people powerful system because of the type of food that we used to eat. But because we have lost that food, anything can happen to us. Let me tell you something you don't know. A black man can survive with HIV in his body for years and years. And yes, and yes, so long as you are eating proper food. I'm telling you. Even cancer, a black person, an African can survive with cancer for many, many years. For many, many years because of proper food. But now we have lost that food. We have given our land to the whites. White people have come here and they have brought seed to us. Most of the seed that we are eating in South Africa are coming from America. They are not even African seed. They are not even our seed. They come from America. These seeds are already uh, fertilized. That's why you can finish eating here before you even wake up from your bed. You are already hungry. You know, we get fat so much. We get so, uh, we gain weight so much. All of a sudden, we lose it all of a sudden. That's how life is. Because we have lost our culture of eating. In those days, our parents used to 
go to the farm, uh, plant vegetable, plant okra, plant so many things. And when we are hungry, they go there, they get it, they cook for us. Our immune system is strong. Our immune system is protected. Our immune system is very heavy. These days, everything is gone. If we want to eat ordinary vegetable, we go to ShopRite and buy it. We buy GMO. We eat it. We have lost everything. What, what is happening with Africa? You know, Africa, we must, we must be wise. You know, we must wake up. You know, we must wake up. We must go back to our culture. These guys have destroyed everything about Africa. And we are still following them up and down. Anywhere they go, we follow them. When they do something, that is good. When we do the same thing, that is bad. If they tell us that Jesus is walking on water, we clap for them because he's a white man. If someone tell you that see, one is walking on water, you say he's a magician. Why? Because I'm a black person. Anything that a white man does to a black person is okay. But anything a, a, a black person does to a black person is evil. It's bad. Well, let us unite. Um, I just say this because uh, there are people who say, talk about Boko Haram. You are not forbidden from talking about Nigeria. You are not forbidden from talking about any other country in Africa. I want you to share the, 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 the broadcast now. Let us go into the main program, the reason why we are here. Let us go into the main program, the reason why we are here. I also did this because there are so many people that join CR1, so many people that come online, you know, they, 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 they are not Zambians, they are watching from all over the world. They also have to benefit from the broadcast, even if we are not talking about uh, even if we are talking about Zambia, they must benefit from the broadcast. Before we, before we go into the issue of ECZ, which is the reason why we are here tonight, I want to make an appeal to President Kenneth Kaunda, President Ropia Banda, I want to encourage them to call Edgar Lungu and sit him down and teach him how to accept defeat after election. See, I want don't joke. See, I want don't have time for joke. I don't know how to joke. When I tell you this is this is how it is, it is. I want them to sit him down. And what Edgar Lungu is losing it. Edgar Lungu is losing his senses. He's losing it. I want to call on the Father. Those of you that are watching me, you are from uh, some NGOs, you are from, from some political party. Please, I want you to go and visit Dr. Kenneth Kaunda. Visit President Rupia Banda. Tell them to sit Eddie Galungu down and teach him how to accept defeat and live a proper life without being in power. Because Eddie Galungu is now losing it. Edgar Lungu is no longer himself. Everything is wrong now as I'm talking to you. Edgar Lungu is failing to realize that there is life after being president. In fact, there is more better life after being a president. That's why I'm saying, those of you that are watching me, there is almost 6,000 people going to 7,000 people that are tuned in today. Please, if you are close to uh, 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 Kenneth Kaunda or Pia Banda, tell them to sit Edgar Lungu down. Edgar Lungu, want, want Edgar Lungu is about to throw Zambia into turmoil, into, into unnecessary war because of power. Tell him, tell him to go and seek for counsel from these people. There is life after being a president. When you are rejected, you are rejected. Edgar Lungu has already lost this election, but is using intimidation. <laughs> yeah. Ha, Edgar, have you heard about uh, uh, this parable that says you can only force a horse to the river, but you can never force a horse to drink the water? He has lost already. Even his people have told him. Security wings, everyone have told him, they have told him to say, sir, 
including the witch doctor that PF people visited in Malawi. Everyone have told them to say, sir, it's over. But he's trying to use intimidation. Intimidation cannot work. Even if you intimidate the whole, you, your intimidation is going to end very soon. That's why I'm saying Kenneth Kaunda. Kenneth Kaunda. Rupia Banda. Please sit Eddie Galungu down. He's still your son. He's still a baby to you. Sit him down and tell him, look, there is life after being a president. Because Eddie Galungu is so desperate and his desperation is about to bring chaos in Zambia. And when this chaos starts, Edgar Lungu will try to run, but he will not run. PF people will try to run, but they will not run. Lusambo will try to run, but they will not run. Listen, there are only few members of PF, Patriotic Front. There are only few members of military. 90% of them are against Edgar Lungu. I want you to go back to the election that was held in 2016. In case Eddie Galungu think that he has support of the military. Police is not in support of Eddie Galungu. Except those other top bosses that are eating with him. Original police, those people that will go on the street, they are not in support of Eddie Galungu. He has lost support everywhere, including Zaf. But he's not realizing this. And because of this, he wants to use desperation. You don't win election with desperation. Election is brain. Election is power. There is no brain remaining in PF. Which brain is there in PF? Mumbipiri. There is nothing inside the brain. Boman Lusambo. There is nothing inside the brain. Which one am I going to talk about? How about the one that was asking for COVID, uh, COVID, uh, COVID uh, 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 salary. There is nothing. There is no brain remaining in PF. The brain that can win election, they are finished. Are you talking about GBN? What does GBN know? You know, the thing is that people don't know. People, people of Zambia forget easily. GBM stood, the daughter of GBM stood under UPND in Kasama and they lost terribly to Kevin Sampa. GBM is nothing. You know, there is nothing in the brain. You know, we, there is no brain again in PF. Even if you see them talking, you will know that these guys, there is nothing left. Edgar Lungu can see that he has lost the election and he has become so desperate. That's why I am saying, Kenneth Kaunda, I am begging you tonight. I know that you are going to watch this broadcast. And I want to take this opportunity to thank all the media, online media houses that are rebroadcasting my program. Uh, what is the name of that one? Z Corner. Z Corner. Thank you so much for rebroadcasting the, all this broadcast when it's done so that more people are watching. Uh, 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 Southern Classic. Thank you so much. Um, Kosue. Thank you so much. Uh, where is the Zambian Landscape. Thank you so much. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? So many of you that always rebroadcast my program. I want to say thank you so much. I want to say that I love you. Continue with the work you are doing. But the reason why I'm saying this, I want to beg you, anyone that knows Kenneth Kaunda, anyone that knows Rupia Banda, let them sit Eddie Galungu down. Eddie Galungu is busy with Roman Catholic, fighting Roman Catholic. That one is a non-starter. That one is a no-go area. It's busy with them. You know, when Roman Catholic tells you that it's over, if you are wise, step down. Even if you don't believe C1, believe Roman Catholic. If they tell you that it's over, step down. All these things are happening, but Edgar Lungu has closed his ears. It, it doesn't listen to reasonable people. It's listening to somebody like Bowman Lusambo, an idiot that goes on the street and starts distributing money, thinking that he's campaigning. Is that campaign? Is that a strategy? Eh? There is no one that is giving him good advice. And they are telling him that he's very popular. And because of that, Edgar Lung want to cause cures in Zambia. Edgar Lung is campaigning in the midst of Corona. The whole country all over the world is shaking because of Corona. All over the world is shaking because of Corona.
Edgar Lungu is campaigning. Even if you want to campaign, you want to be like Donald Trump, allow your opponent to also campaign. So that the more COVID is increasing from PF, it will also increase from UPND. Let, let there be a fair play. Let there be a, a fair ground. You know, let there be a fair ground. Let, let, let the play be free and fair. <laughs> he's afraid, you know. Edgar Lung is afraid. He don't have peace. Just look at his body system. Look at the way he's talking when he's talking. Just see that he has lost confidence. He's no longer himself. And because he's no longer himself, he, he's going to make a lot of decisions that is going to throw Zambia into war. If care is not taken. That's why I'm saying, fathers of the nation, even those of you men and women of God that claim that Edgar Lungu listen to you, call him and tell him to say, look, there is life after being a president. You can never be a president forever. When your time is up, your time is up. Tell them that his time is up. Tell him your time is up. Prepare yourself not to cause war. There is only one Zambia in Africa. One Zambia in Africa. There is only one Zambia in Africa. There are not two. If you destroy, if you destroy Zambia, where are you going to go? You can see what has happened in the few in the few few past week, eh? whereby PF Kada and the European Kada are clashing. They are fighting themselves. They want to start killing themselves. They are breaking their head. You are bringing so much chaos that has never happened in the history of Zambia. Why? Why? Edgar Lungu in his life never believed that Siawan would turn one day against him and do what he am doing today in Zambia. <laughs> he never believed. <laughs> he thought he was so relaxed. He was so comfortable that I've won the election. Today, everyone is telling him, including his members of family, they are telling him that, uh, you know, things are not okay next year. That's why he's so desperate. He's desperate, you know. He wants to do everything possible. He wants to do everything possible. He wants to do everything possible to remain in power. But that is not going to happen. So long as Godfather is alive, so long as Siawan is alive, so long as I am a Jacoban of Africa, the dawn of Africa, you will not sit on that seat after 2021. You will not. It's not possible. It can happen. All your plans are useless. Some of them I'm going to talk about here now. So that you know that you are nobody. You are naked. Boma Lusambo was calling the youths naked. Not knowing that Edgar Lung is more naked than any other youth. You know, there is nothing going on there by Edgar Lungu that is hidden. He has been betrayed Everywhere, spiritually, physically, he has completely been betrayed. You know, he has been betrayed. He has been betrayed. The youths are more clothed than Edgar Lungu. Completely betrayed. You know, so I am begging. I am begging. I am begging. I am pleading mm -hmm. to Dr. Kenneth Kawunda, Dr. Pia Banda. Sit Edgar Lungu down and tell him, teach him. That there is life. You can never be a president forever. Tell him to start accepting the result of next year's election now. And tell him to stop being desperate. When you are doing well as a president of a country, you don't need, you don't need, uh, you don't need to, to, to tell people that you are doing well. People will see that you are doing well. If you are doing well, like... The way I'm here today, I am talking. I am here. Almost 7,000 people are watching me. If I'm not doing well, they will not come. There is a, 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 a lot of things going on. There is other Facebook pages that are doing live program. But everybody have abandoned them and come to watch CR1. Meaning I'm doing well. I don't need to clap for myself to say I'm doing well. I don't need to jump up and down to say I'm doing well. Edgar Galungu is not doing well. If you are doing well, you don't need to start posting. I have built this road. I have built you at even to, to a point of stealing somebody else's road. Stealing somebody's fish pond. Still, if you are doing well, you don't need to say it. People will see it and say you are doing well. Everyone today 
in Zambia can see that Eddie Galungu is a corrupt human being. Eddie Guy is a corrupt, the leader of corruption, the Jagaban of corruption, the, 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 the prophet of corruption, the, lead, the CEO of, of corruption. That's what he is. Everybody can see. That's why anything you do, people are saying, see, I want you. I say, no. Etikalunga, everyone, now, people of Zambia, they can see. People of Zambia are no longer blind. They can see that this guy is a corrupt human being. From the time he was a lawyer, that's why they chased him and took away his practicing license. Because he's a corrupt human being. He took the corruption to state house. That's why Zambia has been looted dry today. There is nothing to write home about in Zambia. Everything is finished. 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 There is no proper school. There is no life in Zambia. Everything is finished. No economy in Zambia. Everything is finished. That's why he's able to go to Nigeria and steal road. And post it, say, I'm working. He go to Brazil or what? To steal agriculture, steal fish pond. Sit and say, I'm working. If you're working, you don't need to steal. You are a failure, Ediga. You are a failure. The failure you are, you are in when I was growing up. When I was going to school at community school in Amozar, there are classes of failure and there are classes of, uh, of people that are intelligent. Class A. Class A are people that are very sharp. They are very wise. You know, even before the teacher comes to write something, they already know the answer. There is class, class B. These guys are also wise. They know the answer. They are sharp. There is class C. They're a little bit dull. You know, they are dull. They're a little bit dull. And there is class D. <laughs> class D is where they pack all the non-entities. All the people who are just coming to school for coming to school sake. Those ones, when you write, when you finish writing exam, when they are failing, they fail with distinction. They fell with impunity. They fell with alacrity. That is where the Galungu belongs, class D. A 100% failure, a talented failure. A, a Jacobin of failure is the leader of failure. So long as Africa is concerned, Eddie Galungu is number one failure. Completely number one failure. You have failed. And because you have failed, that's why you want to steal this, you steal that, you steal that. It will not happen. Coming to ECZ. Remember the other day I told you, those of you that follow Jagaban, you follow Jagaban and you don't, you don't follow me properly. Any word that I say, I don't joke. Any word that I say, take it serious because it's coming straight from Godfather. I cannot come here and speak without Godfather permitting me. And Godfather's word does not miss. If I tell you that this will happen, that is going to happen. During my last broadcast, I told you that PF, they are going to use the COVID to postpone the election next year. That is part of the plan. If Eddie Galungu is saying it's not part of the plan, why is he not following the measures? Every other president all over the world, they are following the measure. Why is Eddie Galungu not following the measures? How on earth can a, a, a minister of health, the one who is in front telling people to say, observe social distancing, go to court, chattering cadres without no social distancing. It's for you to see their plan is to increase the COVID. So that by next year, when we are, when you are reaching by, by January, February next year, they will say, no, we want to postpone the election because of Corona. We are not going to postpone it. America is doing the election. There is Corona. Malawi did it. If Malawi did it, Zambia can do it. There is no postponement of election. After saying that, those of you that thought that CIA one was joking, I want to take you to Mwebant. I want to take you to Mwebant. I want you to see this. I want you to see something here. What is it? Mwebant. I want you to see something here. Before we, we go into uh, that old man. You know, 
that old man is a disappointment but i don't want to talk now let me finish this one because i love to take my my talking slowly slowly so that you get everything those of you you are calling me from zambia and you know that i'm live and you are calling me on whatsapp i'm going to put your number here so that people know that you are calling me you know that zambia people say i'm a satanist so people know that you are consulting a satanist <laughs> Stay away from trouble. Don't call me until uh, the program finish. <sighs> Come here. I want to show you what. Uh, what? Uh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> My band posted this yesterday. The Minister of Transport and Communication. I don't know the name. This name is difficult. Mutotwe Kafuaya has tested positive for COVID-19. <laughs> ah, this is my bad. This is my bad. Yeah, this is my bad. That is to show you that these guys, they are not playing. Get ready. Many, many other ministers and top government officials, they are going to be testing COVID. But UPND, I want to tell you this. Prepare to die for your people. Youth of Zambia, prepare to die for your land. NDC, prepare to die for your land. If they make mistakes, say we are postponing the election, take to the street and protest. There is no law on earth that stop you from protesting. Go to the street and protest. Malawi did it. You can do it. Many years ago, Malawi used to learn something from Zambia. Why must Zambia come back? Are you telling me that today Malawi is protesting? Malawi has risen up to take care of their country. You are telling me that Zambia cannot do it. Hmm? Many years ago, Malawi used to learn from Zambia. Today, eh? today, Zambia wants to learn from Malawi. It's a lie. Malawi did it. Opposition leader, President Akainde Chilema, President uh, uh, Chishimba Kambuiri, President Nefes Mumba, President Chilufia Tayale, President uh, 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 Sevia Chishimba, and many of you, President Kalaba, Harry Kalaba. Prepare to die for your land. Prepare to die for your people. Chilema did it together with Chekwara. In, in, in Malawi, and the result came. Prepare to do it. They will not postpone the election. Even if they want Teddy Galungu test COVID, election must go on. It cannot happen. Believe me, don't allow that rubbish to happen. Prepare. Prepare to die for your people. Prepare to speak for your people. Prepare to remove your country from corrupt idiots, corrupt fools. Greedy, corrupt non-entities. Prepare to remove your country out of their hand. Prepare. Prepare yourself. Prepare. How, how on earth can ministers and only government officials be testing COVID when UPND members are not testing COVID? Eh? Eh? The, the, uh, uh, and these members are not testing COVID. Eh? Uh, 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 Eddie, Harry Calabas, people are not testing COVID. It's only PF. PF, this minister has tested. If you test COVID, you go into coma. We believe you. In fact, you can die. Then we believe that there is COVID there. That's nonsense. You, take, you think that people of Zambia are mad? Or you think that people of Zambia are what? Hmm? You think that people of Zambia are foolish? You think that people of Zambia are, are idiots? Because you have surrounded yourself with idiots, because you are a party of idiots, party of uneducated, illiterate, illiterate fools, you think that everybody in Zambia is not thinking. You wake up, you behave how you want. You are ruling Zambia like Zambia is your kitchen. You wake up, you tell, uh, what is the name of that? Doracility. Doracility, pretend like you have COVID. Doracility will pretend and joke with people of Zambia. Eh? Eh? You wake up, you tell this minister, pretend, and they are pretending. Who, are, who do you think you are? Eh? Who do you think you are? Eh? Who do you think? You think that Zambia is your kitchen? 
Even in your kitchen, you don't treat your wife like that. You don't treat your children like that. You don't, you don't take them as fools the way you are taking Zambian people as fools. What is wrong with you? Eh? How on earth in a country, Eddie Galunga has made Zambia a joke. Zambia is mockery. Eddie Galunga, today as I'm, talking, as I'm talking to you, the court of Zambia does not have respect. It's full of cadres. Hmm? Police, worse. Cadres. Everything is a joke in, in Zambia. You are talking about ZNBC? Joke. Zesco, that one is the joke joker. That one is the jokest. You are talking about the police? Woo! Which one are you talking? Everything in Zambia, the Galunga has messed them up. The way Rupia Banda left them is not the way it is. The way Kenneth Kaunda left them is not the way it is. The way Chuluba left them is not the way it is. Those things don't have respect. There is nothing happening now in Zambia. Everything, Eddie Galunga has messed them up. Hmm? There is no... What are you talking about? As I'm talking to you now, take my word. Listen. Take my word. Take my word. You see, they are shaking now because uh, Chishimba Kambuil is about to form a pact with uh, UPND. I don't know them, but this is what I know. Godfather tells me something is not a lie. I am seeing them forming a part. And because of this, Eddie Galungu and PF, they are shaking. They are saying if this thing goes through, if this thing goes through, we are gone. Eddie whether there is pact or there is no pact, you are gone. Uh, 2011, uh, President Hakainde Chilema and Sata came together, they formed a pact. And people of Zambia celebrated and said, our victory has come. The time President Akchayaka in the Echilema and the Sata parted ways, everybody lost hope. Everybody said, hey, Sata is not going anywhere. What happened? Sata won the election. When it is your time, when it is your time, eh? when it is your time, believe me, it is your time. Like the way it is now. It's like in the HLMS time. You can beat him. You can lock him in a house. The way you have stopped him from campaigning, lock him. The day he will come out, it's going to be a tsunami. The problem is that the people around you that advise you, they are dull. They are fools. They don't know that the more Aka in the HLMS is being put inside and not allowed to campaign, the more people are, are getting hungry to see him. The day he will come out, it will be like a tsunami. It will be like war. Believe me. That's what I'm telling you. You don't have advisors. And I know that you are watching a digger together with your people. I don't give you advice. I don't advise idiots. I don't advise people who don't use their brain. I don't advise corrupt people. But I'm telling you to say if you are wise, you are not even going to stop opposition from campaigning. You are going to be campaigning and they are campaigning. When you have locked somebody, take for example, when you arrest somebody and put that person inside the cell, the day that person comes out, it looks like Jehovah has come. <laughs> it looks like Messiah has come. <laughs> That's what they are doing. You know, if you have, you are saying, ah, we have locked him up, we are campaigning alone, continue campaigning. The day you will make a mistake and open campaign, every all the people you gave money, all the people that supported you, all the people that said they will vote for you, they want to see Akain de Echilema. The time you put him inside prison, when he came out, did you see what happened? You don't know how to do politics in Africa. The people that are advising you, are they don't know what they are doing. Somebody like Chris is money. What does Chris know? <laughs> ah! I, 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 me have never. There is one Zambian uh, in 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 the diaspora. He's, he's, he's a founder of PF. He was talking to me today. He said the problem we have is that our president. <laughs> we thought that he was wise. We thought that being a lawyer is wise, but we can see that there is nothing in the brain. <laughs> you carry Chris Zumani. Chris Zumani that don't even know the size of his trouser. Eh? 
The trouser he wears can make 40 of my trousers. Somebody that don't know how to the size of his trousers, what is he going to advise you? Eh? You carry Chris Zumani and put him as your advisor. What I think I think Kaiser Zulu was even better. Kaiser Zulu is a violent person, but I think he is he's wise, he's wiser than Chris. I know Kaiser. I know him. You know, he's, uh, he's, he's violent. You know, he's, 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 he's a very bad guy. But brain he has. That Chris, somebody who don't know the size of his trouser. Look the trouser he wears in state house. He don't know the size of his trouser. How can he advise you? Charity begins from home. Somebody who cannot dress up in himself. Hmm? Somebody who you can use... A, 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 a material that can sew trousers for the whole Zambia and sew trousers. What is he going to advise you? What will you learn from him? Ediga, do you also use your senses? Mm -hmm. What is going on with you? What is happening? Hmm? Chris Zumani, you carry him to advise you. What does he know about leadership? Eh? Eh? What does he know? What does he know? What does he know about leadership? He knows nothing. He's even failing to cooperate. He doesn't know nothing. How about Chipante? Yeah? Somebody whose head is bigger than his body. Who can, who is a person who cannot be able to carry his head. How is he going to carry the nation? What are Edgar Lungu? What has come over you? Yeah? You know, there are intellectuals in Zambia. There are so many intellectuals in Zambia. There are so many intellectuals in Zambia. Why not pick them and sack those people there? I'm not giving you advice, but I'm telling you how you have failed as a person. Even the PF people, PF people all over the world, they are crying. They are crying. They are saying, this, this, this is not the Edigalungu that we know. You have messed up everything within a twinkle of an eye. Within a twinkle of an eye, everything in Zambia is shattered. Hmm? Okay, let me tell you something. Watch this thing that I want to tell you, Zambian people. I have decoded a plan. As Godfather has already shown me, I have decoded it. A plan. Look, this is we are we are we are we are we are on when July, right? July. Okay. August. They want to put. They want to convict Kambuiri, so that Kambuiri will not stand together with HH in 2021. They want to put. Kambuili to jail. I have seen already a call has been made in the realm of the spirit telling them to say convict Kambuili now, now, now. So that will frustrate him. Edgar hey, Lungu, I'm watching you. I have already said it. We are waiting for you. August. I heard it in the realm of the spirit. I picked it up. August. We are waiting for what is the name? There is a lawyer. I don't know the name of that lawyer. Is this Simusamba or what, what? That man, we are waiting for him. To say, okay, this has happened. Then I will come back here and tell the nation to say, well, the same thing I told you in the realm of the spirit has happened. But let me tell you, you can put Kambuiri inside jail, but you are leaving next year. Even if you want, arrest everybody in Zambia and remain alone with your wife. Your wife is not going to vote for you. You are going to leave. I'm telling the gospel truth. Go ahead. Put Kambuiri inside the, inside the cell. Put him there. Go ahead. Convict him. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do it. In August, do it. But, but, we are watching. At least Zambian people are aware that I, I prophesy something. I said something. Let's watch. I said in my other, other broadcast to say, uh, they are going to start increasing the, 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 the COVID Auto automatically. A minister that had nothing to do with COVID has tested COVID. All your plans are here. You can never rig election without me. I know that you didn't think about it by the time you were deporting me. You thought that Siawan is one of these prophets. Those, those, uh, 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 those fools you call men and women of God there in Zambia, you think Siawan is one of them? No. Siawan is a Jagaban. The dawn of power. Without me, PF was not going to win election. Without my ring, without the sacrifices that we did. Do you want me to talk? Time is coming. 
Without all those things, PF will never be in power. And I told you that we are living. Even if, Edgar let me tell you something you don't know. Even if you want, go and steal the whole of Dubai and paste it in Zambia. And they steal Zambia and take it to Dubai. You will never, no one will recognize your good. Mark my word. People, you will be doing good to people. People will be hating you. The more you do good to them, the more they will hate you. Mark my word this night. You will know that I'm a Jagaban. You will know that I am the don of power. I control power in Africa. You know. And you know it already. Without C1, where is PF? Since the day I took my power from PF, what is happening in PF? Is everybody in PF not mad today? From A to Z, everyone is mad. You see uh, that, that, uh, that other idiot from Copper Bed, a bull man. You see him gallivanting all over the street like a madman, sharing money and chitenge to people. Election is one year from today. They are campaign you have taken campaign serious today. Why? Pressure. <laughs> Since I was quiet, were you under pressure? You thought that Siawan is your Zambian prophet and your Zambian pastor who don't know nothing. Apart from saying, hallelujah, oh God bless you, what, what, those rubbish. I am a traditional prophet. PF people, you people, your people came to me. PF came to me and they took power to win election. And using that power to oppress innocent people. Using that power to operate poor people. Using that power to destroy Zambia. I took my power out. And all of you are foolish. That's why you started my trouble. When I made my revelation, I didn't mention anybody. I said, those people that came to me secretly, all the people that came to me secretly and took my things, returned them back. Godfather has rejected PF. I just made my own. I know the people I, I, I dealt with and even the people I'm dealing with today. See, I want don't keep secret. See, I want don't keep secret. If you took something from me and you grow in tomorrow, you think I will keep quiet. Then you are a fool. When you take my thing, you must respect yourself. You must agree on what was said. I said, return all my things. Return my ring. Return my thing. The people I affected secretly returned their things. And all of a sudden, your government started speaking rubbish. That short man, what is his name? Campiongo. That other idiot. He started saying, see, one was deported because he was a, he raped a girl. Rape a girl? Rape a girl and you did not arrest me and they prosecute me and put me inside your, inside your jail? See, I one was sleeping with men. Sleeping with men? See, I one was sleeping with street boys. And I'm not a gay. I can never be a gay. I'm too big to be a gay. I'm too handsome to be a gay. I can't be a gay. You know? See, I one was because he was raping gay. If, you, if I was doing all those things you're accusing me of, why did you allow me to leave? You are the one that deported me. I did not even leave. You are the one that deported me. <laughs> so somebody is doing sodomy in your country. All you can do is to deport him? No. If I did something bad in Zambia, you were supposed to arrest me, take me to court, convict me, throw me inside prison. You didn't do it. Even when my embassy came to Kabwata police station to ask you, what did the CIA one do? No one answered. Go to immigration. There are so many of you that, you know, it's just that I don't like to respond. You know, I'm too big to respond. I'm doing a lot of things. I'm solving millions of problems. I'm doing millions of miracle money. Every blessed day, I'm solving people's problems. I'm not only uh, uh, doing politics in Zambia, in, Gu in Guyana. In Guyana, I'm doing politics. In so many other countries all over the world, I'm doing politics. So I don't have time to explain myself. How you see me, take it like that. If you see me as a satanist, it's good for you. If you see me as a humanizer, that is the best. You, it, so long as it makes you happy, take it like that. If you see me as somebody that is sleeping with men, that is the best. Take it like that. I don't have time to explain myself. Anything you, he you heard about me, accept it. If, you don't, if it's not good, if it's not sweet enough, add your own thing. And make it sweet for yourself. I don't care. The reason why I'm saying this is because 
by the time I was even deported in, uh, being deported in Zambia, go to the immigration and find out what was my crime. My picture is there. They gave me a placard. Go to immigration. It's there. They gave me a placard. And that placard is written, you are being deported because you are a security risk. Go there. If it's not what is there, then see one is a liar. I asked those immigration officers, I said, how am I a security risk? Am I a terrorist? They said, no. Am I a, a, a kidnapper? No. You, you have always been taken to prison to say I'm doing drugs. Did you catch me with drugs? No. What did I do? Why am I a security risk? Because a security risk means I'm a, I'm a terrorist. They said, see, one to tell you the truth, the order came from above. The time you were deporting me, you were drinking tea. Ha, 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 see, one has gone. You didn't know that a day like this will come when you are going to dance from your bedroom. Anytime I'm saying I'm going live, you don't sleep. A, over 8,000 people are watching and you are among them that are watching. I spoke about talking about Esau Chilu today, which I'm going to start talking right now. Esau Chilu, where he is, people told him, Sia Wan is about to talk to you. He's, he has wee-weed on himself just for the fact that he heard that Sia Wan is about to talk to him. He believed that Sia Wan is going to tore his secret apart. Anytime I post that I'm going live, you start panicking. You didn't know. Eh? I told you that your time is up and I told you that you are, you are going to come down from that seat, not just coming down sick, but disgracefully. Disgracefully. What are we talking about? Listen to this. I have also decoded a plan. PF people listen to this. UPND people listen to this. Uh, 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 what is the name of this one? Uh, 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 NDs listen to this. Uh, 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 um, uh, other political party listen to this. Listen. This, uh, there is a plan that I've decoded in the name of the spirit. Whereby, whereby they, they are about to start distributing the registration machine that captures card, NRC card, that is in, in, in preparation for registration of this uh, voter's card, what, what. Please, Zambia political parties, uh, listen to me very carefully. That's why I'm saying this man, Esso Chilo, at your age, you are supposed to be a statesman. You are supposed to be somebody that will be bringing peace. But you have allowed yourself to be used by, by boys like Eddie Galungu, by, by young people. You have allowed yourself to be used. And they are going to be embarrassed the way that uh, Anna, Anna was embarrassed in Malawi next year. You have allowed yourself. I have decoded in the name of the Spirit. Godfather has already told me that by next month, when they are going to start distributing the machine, all the stronghold. For you, PND and the opposition, they are going to give you a machine that does not work. It's going to start working. It stops. Then they will tell you, no, we have taken the machine to Lusaka. We are going to bring it back when we work on it. Knowing that you have only 30 days to register. Because these 30 days was a plan. I saw them sat and plan and say, within these 30 days, all the machines that will go to our stronghold, all of them are going to work perfectly. The machine that will go to Luapula, the machine that will go to Chipata, the machine that will go to all the stronghold, all these machines are going to work perfectly. But the machines that are going to go to Western Province, Northwestern, if all the machines that will go to opposition area, they are, not go they are going to manufacture. They are not going to work properly. This is a plan. That they are planning to do. But also let me tell you this. If you do this. Eh, because of you I will go to Nigeria. And you will not see that election. I swear upon Godfather. Where is it? I swear upon Godfather. I have taken salt. I will not be alive. To allow Eddie Galungu to rig next year's election. I am telling you. It will not happen. Look. Opposition. Take what I am telling you serious. Please. I'm not even talking to Hakai de Chilema, Chishimba Kambuiri, Chilufia, Chilufia Tayali, uh, 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 Nefes Mumba, Savia Chishumba, 
Harry Kalaba. Take what I'm going to tell you serious. Watch out next month. It's going to happen. All the machines that are going to opposition, those machines are going to be, they are going to be tampered. I have seen it in the realm of the spirit. I have decoded it. They have already planned to say, when we register one, qua, 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 the machine is going to spoil. And then we, we tell them we are taking it back to Lusaka. By the time they are coming back to Lusaka, they have deprived people that want to register. While in PF Stronghold, people are registering. People are registering. Be very, very careful. What is going to happen? What is going to happen? <laughs> Be very, very careful. What is going to happen? Next month, when the, the registration starts, immediately you hear any of these things that I've said, start protest. Believe me, army is going to support you. What happened in Malawi is going to happen. There is no country on earth that does not allow protest. You have the freedom. It's your right to protest. This is what they have planned in the realm of the spirit. I saw people sat down. They are saying the machines that we are going to go this side, they are going to manufacture. They are going to, they will not work properly. Be careful about this. And they want the, the ones that will work in PF stronghold, they are going to work perfectly. Watch out. Once it happens, you know that CR1 has already said it. Godfather does not miss. When Godfather said this is it, this is it. Be very careful. Be very, very careful. Opposition. Opposition. I'm talking to you. Opposition parties in Zambia. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Haka in the chilema. Prepare to die for your people. I'm talking to you. Never Simumba. Prepare to die for your people. I'm talking to you. Chilifia Tayali. Prepare to die for your people. I'm talking to you. Chishimba Kambuiri. Prepare to die for your people. Prepare to die for your people. Prepare. Enough is enough. Edgar, I will not be alive. Any idea that they bring to rig election, I'm going to expose it. So that when it starts happening next month, you will know that CIA1 has said it. Esso Chulu, a grown-up man like you, an adult like you, who is supposed to be bringing peace, who is supposed to treasure your land more than any other thing, you, have, you, you, don't, you don't want to reason. You don't want to be a father to the nation. You don't want to be a father to the nation. You don't. I feel sorry for you. I don't want to go deeper into your life to scatter your integrity. But be careful. Cancel that plan today. Cancel it today. The same way people are going to be registering in Chipata, let it be the same way people are going to be registering in opposition stronghold. Do that. If you do that, you will have peace. If you don't do it, I will go to Nigeria on your behalf. I'm telling you. And there is, ask your friends in PF, they will tell you that when Jagaban is a Jagaban. Please, be very careful. Papa, I respect you. I respect elders. Elders that are wise. Not elders like Sumaili, that, that idiot. That's why he's a foolish elder. But I respect elders. You know, elders like, uh, like, uh, like uh, Kenneth Kaunda, Rupia Banda. I respect them, you know, because they, they love the nation. Please, change. Esso, change. Because you are going to run. You would love to run to South Africa here, but we are not going to allow you to enter. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> Eddie Galunga has already lost the election. Let me, let, me, let me say this to you. Let me say something to you. Uh, Eddie Galunga and his party, they are saying uh, 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 UPND and other party, they are winning election on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> ah. If a uh, stupidity was a party, if Nyongo Nyongo was a party, it was PF. And you don't, you di actually, PF people don't realize that uh, we have migrated from analog world to digital world. For example, if we were to post something on Facebook today, we were to see reaching 5 million people. The population of Zambia is 18 million. Mwebanti is actually covering a good percentage of Zambia. I am mm -hmm. talking today. Mm -hmm. Over 8,000 people mm -hmm. are glued watching. Mm -hmm. Translating to million by the time I'm waking up tomorrow. You don't know. You don't know that people are no longer 
mm. outside mm. there. People are now technology has united everybody. You don't know there are more people on Facebook today more than it was in 2016. Edgar Lungu, let me ask you a question. When we talk, you say, ah, he said those they are so they are on social media. Over eight thousand people that are watching, they are human beings. They are not machine. They are human beings. They are watching. After this program, millions of people watch. They are human beings. Whatever we are saying, they are hearing it. Even in Luapula, there, where you call your stronghold, they are feeling the pain that everyone else is finished. They are not buying millimil special from heaven. They are buying the same millimil from Zambia. They are not using different Zesco. They are using this. I'm telling you that even without HH go, stepping down from his bed to go and campaign, today, just allow election, you will come back crying. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You say technology is nothing. You, you are Facebook president. That was then. Edgar Lungu, your useless party, your, your stupidity party, party of corrupt people, the party that called me a satanist, but they are satanists themselves, idiotic party, your party said that see, one is a satanist, your party used hundreds of millions of dollars, if I'm not mistaken, to migrate from digital, from, from analog to digital. If, if digital is not important, why did you spend millions to migrate? We are no longer in analog time. Campaign is being done here on Facebook. You can go to, you can go to uh, uh, Luapula and make, a, a, and make a, 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 what? A, a campaign today in Luapula. 3,000 people are going to gather. There will be enough for you. But I am here, I will be talking. 10,000 people are going to be watching me. Who has won? You play with technology. You are finished. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> you are gone. <laughs> you are a goner. <laughs> gone, goner. <laughs> gone. <laughs> you are gone. Everywhere. Believe me. You are gone. You, are, you don't understand technology. But your party, who, who, who are those people in your party? Are they wise? Those people that tell you that technology is nothing. HH is a Facebook president. Are they wise? You spent millions of dollars migrating from analog to digital. And you don't understand the digital power. Digital power. We are now in digital. How many people are watching me? Eh? How many people are watching? 8,000 something going to 9,000. Eh? Eh? You are gone. Technology has taken over. Technology has taken over. That's why you are gone. All these numbers that are watching will translate to vote. Let me also tell you something. Start that voter's registration card next month. From the turnout of people that are going to get, uh, uh, going to be registered, people that we we volunteer themselves, they will leave their work to go and get registered. You will know how the vote is going to be next year. <laughs> you will come and tell me. <laughs> I told you that time to say, you know, instead of wasting time to go and get somebody that is going to uh, tell you how to restructure your debt and how to manage your debt, get money and get a good advisor. Chipampe cannot, ad he cannot manage to advise you. That is not, the head is just big for nothing. That other one, what is the name of that one? Chris Zumani. Nothing. He knows nothing. He knows not, there is nothing. If it's possible, take back Kaiser Zulu. Let him advise you because you have lost it. I'm telling you, my brother, you are gone. <laughs> uh, people of Zambia and people from all over the world, ask me a question. Let me answer. Question and answer time. My doctor from Zambia, he told me, he said, see, I want you know, when you talk, it's like that, that you know, she told me, buy this medicine, buy that medicine. <laughs> but unfortunately, I didn't manage. Ask me your question. Mm. 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 
ask me a question. And the people of Zambia, they have been so intimidated that when they comment something, you know, they start shaking. There is one girl that commented the other day saying, see one Kilungu. And, uh, you know, she became afraid. When that thing went viral, she sent me a message. See one, please remove the video. I said, no, don't be afraid. You are Zambian people have been so intimidated that they fear anything. They fear everything, you know, anything. They fear anything. If you say when is Lungu dying, you didn't mention Edgar Lungu. Even if you mention Edgar Lungu, it's not the only Edgar Lungu on earth. <laughs> so, you know, you, you just you don't know law, you know, you don't know law. And they take advantage of your ignorance to intimidate you. You know, you don't know law. See, mm -hmm. one is the alliance plan going to work? I'm telling you, they are, in the name of the spirit, have decoded. They want to uh, put Kambiri in prison. You know, they want to convict him and the, and the, uh, uh, say he's he's a, he's a guilty and uh, do that. So because of that, we are not going to stand. But whether alliance or no alliance. A church is going to be the president. It is done. It is sealed in the spirit. It is done. Let me tell you one thing. For you to know that I'm not joking. Before, many of you, when you see a church, you see like you have seen a demon, you know? You see like you have seen, even when you see his post on Facebook, you see like you have seen an enemy. But as I'm talking to you today, anytime you see a church, you can feel relief. You can feel like, you can feel something. That bitterness that was covering a church is gone completely ask me a question i like the fact that you are the only one who calls people that they are empty without understanding of course you know zambian people you know that's why i always encourage you travel there is a lot of intimidation that is going on in Zambia. You, you want to say something, but you are afraid of saying something. Travel, you know. People like uh, 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 Tetuan Glube, who, is, uh, 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 who claim to be educated, should have been in prison now by threatening violence. You know, people like Bowman Lusambo, a city minister. This, why, this type of idiot, where did Eddie Galungu get them? A city minister, you know. He's telling an uh, opposition leader to say the battle line has been drawn. You don't know that you're a minister. The same people you want to fight are the same people you are ruling. You are not an enemy to UPND. You are not an enemy to Tongas. You are not an enemy to Lozis. They are your brother and sister. Yes, you are in government. They are yours. Whether they love you, they don't love you, so long as you are the leader, you owe them obligation to love and serve them. Just because they don't love you, you know, because they did present, woo, woo, and the, it, all hell was broken loose. Eh? You have declared war on HH. You have declared war on Tonga people. You have declared war on Lozi people. What kind of brain do you have as leaders? Eh? In a normal country, something like this happens. In a normal country, here in South Africa, where we are, where Julius Malema is, is a Julius Malema stronghold, President uh, uh, Sri Ramaphosa can come here and be talking. They are saying, whoa, 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 whoa. He will continue talking. Edgar Lungu, do you, do you also watch what is happening, what other presidents are doing? Or you are just watching Z World and drinking whiskey? Do you, when will you sit down your cadres that you call ministers and teach them how to be a leader? They are not being a leader. They are not in opposition. They, you are leading Zambia as a country. No matter what they do, you will never declare war against somebody that you are leading. It's impossible. Eh? How can a minister say, ah, I, now the battle line has been drawn between you and the UPND? You being the Zambians, they are under you. They are under your leadership. They are like children to you. You take care of them. When you are a president, when you are in government, everyone in that country is under you. You treat them like your children. That's why you can have children in, in, in the house. They want to oppose you. They want to fight you. They want to insult you. Do you kill them for insulting you? No. 
you still manage them. That's why you can have children that are armed robbers, children that are smoking weed, but they are still your children. You still take care of them. How can a city minister threaten violence and is not arrested? How on earth? Hmm? How on earth? Eh? GBM is talking. GBM talk from the Tami. That one I can understand him. He done here. Nothing. Somebody who was beating the wife. Is he also when that one talk, who must take him serious? The brain is here. That's why the time is big. The brain is not here. The brain is here. How can he say Bembaland is a no-go area? <laughs> you are in government. You are, you are speaking such type of a thing. You want to destroy Zambia. You want to divide Zambia. You are in government. You are in government for Christ's sake. You are in government for God's sake. Hmm? And you want to destroy Zambia. This place is a no-go area. Why? You know, you people are in government. You are the one that's supposed to be in forefront, uniting the nation. But you are the same people that send your cadres to go to radio station and fight, disrupt HH program. You are the one that started the fight. Eh? What Edgar Lung will you sit down with this your idiots and sit them down and 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 hear them, you know, and hear them and hear them speak, you know, mm -hmm. sit them down and tell them how to rule a nation. Those guys are fools. They don't understand anything. That's why they have destroyed Zambia completely. None of them in peers. There is no single intellectual. Everyone is a cadre, you know. They are looking for what to get. They loot this, they stand outside the country. They loot this, they send outside the country. They loot this, they send outside the country. That's why they are filthy rich. Rich idiots. Rich fools. You know? Rich people that don't have anything on their head. People that think from their stomach. Eh? What are you talking about? GBM. You, it's, it's, a, it's a disgrace. For a grown-up man like you to stand up and say, uh -huh, for that, UPND, I declare Bembaland no good area for you. In Bembaland, you are nobody. You are not even a heavyweight. You were beaten up and down, beaten left and right, beaten like a stupid idiot by the time you were with a church. Your daughter, your own daughter, did not even win. Of all the whole money you were flashing without brain. Eh? I even heard you. Eh, I'm the one who was spending money. Uh, a church was not spending any money. If you store money, if you get money easily, you will spend it easily. If you work hard for it, it will be hard for you to spend it. A church is not like you that got a contract because you are in government. A church worked hard. He has never been in government and is rich. Don't expect him, don't expect him to spend it the way you are spending. Because you got your own through government contract and other useless things. You know? These are the things that who 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 advises PF? Who advises Eddie Galung? Eddie Galung is gallivanting up and down, he's jumping from here to here, wasting time for nothing. If he had an advisor, he was not even going to be wasting time. I'm telling you. He was not going to be wasting time campaigning. Election is still far. Eddie Galungu does not understand that. The brain of Zambian people have shifted. Even if the way you like stealing things, even if you go and steal Dubai, I'm telling you, and paste it in Zambia, everyone in Zambia is working in Dubai. They will still not vote you because they now know that your leadership is corrupt. And they know that you protect corrupt people. They know that you love corruption. That's why they will not vote for you. And corruption destroys the nation. Corruption destroys everything. Corruption is a destroyer. You know? Corruption is a destroyer. Corruption, corruption is a nation destroyer. Eh? How on earth? Edgar Lung is, is ruling Zambia like Zambia is his, uh, his kitchen. Eh? Fake report has been brought to you. Sir, release the fixed report. There are people that were mentioned in that report that are corrupt. Why are you protecting them? And you say you are not corrupt. People are saying, oh, Edgar Lung is not corrupt. You don't know. Edgar Lung is not corrupt. He, he is corruption himself. Release the fake report. They, those, guys, those, those people are getting salary for finding criminals. Those people are getting salary for preparing those reports. They have 
prepared the report and gave to you. Release it. You can't release it. And why do you actually think that Zambian people will vote for you again? When you are protecting criminal and corruption. That's why I call you the Jagaban of corruption. The Jagaban of corruption. That's what you are. Zambian people, let me tell you something as I conclude and start taking your question. Zambia is going to be great again. It's very simple. Zambia is so blessed. Zambia has a lot of money. You know, Zambia has millions. Zambia has billions. Zambia has everything. What Zambia has lacked is leadership. When you see a leadership where Dorasility is part of that leadership, know that that, that that government has come to loot. When you see a leadership where you see Boma and Lusambo is there, know that that government is full of bootlickers. It's government of idiots. There is no intellectual in PF. They have run down the country completely. The country is on its knee right now. I am praying that you are watching me from Luapula or you are watching me from Lusaka. You have people in Luapula. You have people in, in, in all the places that they call their stronghold. Start talking to them in advance. I have even seen how those people that are getting NRS, how they will turn around and vote for HH instead of Edgar Lungu. In Edgar Lungu's stronghold. Mark my word, next year. Start telling them, Zambia belongs to Zambian people. There is nothing like Bemba. There is nothing like uh, there is nothing like uh, uh, Lozi. There is nothing like uh, Tonga. Zambia is one. Someone must take over Zambia and they bring back the glory of Zambia. Someone must take over Zambia and take care of Zambia. If you have watched me today, you hate me. You know you hate Sia One because you're a PF cadre. Have I lied? If I have lied, highlight, highlight the lie that I've lied. Let me explain. I don't lie. You can hate me for being a Satanist, which you say I am. Which I'm not. You can hate me for saying I don't, I'm not a Christian. I have freedom of worship. I worship what I want. You can hate me for any other thing. But one thing you will not hate me for is truth. I say the truth. No matter who you are i tell you the truth because the bible that you read as a christian says we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free you can hate me for the spiritual work i'm doing maybe when i was in zambia uh, i killed someone that was related to you or i harmed someone that was related to you or i did something that affected you you can hate me for all those things but you cannot hate me because of the truth because i speak the truth I say the truth. I don't lie. I say the truth. Because I believe in the truth. I believe in the truth. If you are following this page, I say, Jagaban, we do not lie. We tell you the truth without fear and favor. Come with your question. Let's tackle your questions. I love you so much because you are informing us on what is ahead. Jeremy, thank you so much. And I'm going to continue informing you. That's what I'm saying. If you have not liked this page, please like it. If you have not followed it, immediately after this program, follow it. As we are going into election, any plan they plan, I will decode it. And I will tell you so that they will not... Rigging next year's election is impossible. It's a mission impossible. <laughs> I told you from the beginning. And you must know that I am consistent. PF people have called me. They have begged. They have begged. They have begged. They have promised me heaven and earth. See, I want to forgive us. When I tell you I'm going this road, I am going that road. Even if you bring a jet, that's your own concern. I have everything I want in life. I'm not somebody that is, can easily be corrupted. I chat with so many people. There are so many people in PF. I'm in good books with them. Even most of the people that are close to the president, I am in good books with them. You know, we talk. But when you come to see one, can you come back and help us? I say no. It's enough. I am somebody that is consistent. Me, I can never, 
I, did, did, from the day I told you that I will never support Eddie Galungu, have I supported him? I will not support him because a lizard on earth can never be a crocodile in heaven. Eddie Galungu will never change. Corruption is in his blood. I will never, never in my life support him. Anyone that was supporting a church or Chishimbakambir or Calabar that turn around and start supporting uh, Eddie Galungu is an idiot. There is nothing good about Ediga. Not even a single thing good about Ediga. If Ediga make a road like this, Ediga makes a road like this. Eh? Before he make this road, few individuals are close to him and him have already made millions out of this road. He doesn't do anything that does not benefit him. He doesn't do anything for the people of Zambia. He does things that benefit him only. So if you are clapping, the Eddie Galunga has made this road. First of all, go to that road. Mm -hmm. You will see that the road is useless. It's slippers. It's a slippers. It's as flat as a, a breast of a, 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 a 80 years old man. Flat. That's how it is. That's how the road that he does is. And that road, give it two years. They will start rehabilitating it. He doesn't do, Eddie Kalungu doesn't do anything that benefit the nation, except he benefit from it. That's why, up to today, the people that bought the, the fire truck are not being arrested. Even after everyone seeing that there is a massive corruption there. That's why Chito Tela is acquitted. That's why very soon, Chita Lutilifa will be acquitted. Anything corruption, Eddie Kalungu protect them like this. Next year, Zambia is going to be great. Hakain de Chilema. Start renovating the prisons. Believe me, things are going to happen. All those things they stole. The people, ch children of Zambia are suffering today. They don't have data. And you have introduced e-learning. They complain to data. When I post that I'm going live, they are begging me. See, I want to send me data to watch you. They don't have data to watch me. Uh, you are telling me that they will have 24-hour data to learn examination. Eddie Galungu, you are failing to open the school. You are failing to open the university. But you are busy campaigning all over the country. You are gallivanting like an idiot all over the country. And you are failing to open the schools. You are telling students to learn from their home. To learn e-learning. But you are campaigning all over. Are you telling me that, that 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 COVID is only for the student? It doesn't kill those people that you are gathering in thousands? You think that Zambian people are fools? You think that Zambian people are not awake? You think that you are wise? I feel sorry for you. I'm telling you, I saw upon Godfather, your ending is going to be so bad. Come with your question. The government of corruption turning the country into hell. He has already turned it into hell. If you don't know, almost everything in Zambia is owned by Chinese. There is nothing. You don't have anything. What does Zambia have? Zesco Chinese is there. Next year, if I allow them to win election, you are going to see hell. <laughs> Chinese was going to cook food on your head and eat it on your head. The airport that is posting all over with its useless B10, constructed by Chinese. It's not even Zambian airport. Chinese airport. Chinese airport. Ch built by Chinese. The airport that is claiming that he has built. Go to Tanzania and see what the president is doing there without Chinese money. Eh? Airport, how much is the cost? Because of corruption. Eh? China will come and give you millions of dollars. You give them that contract. And you are putting Zambia into slave. The, the, debt, the debt that Zambia is having today is unbearable. Unborn children are going to suffer. You are turning Zambia to, you are turning Zambia to a land of slavery. Eh? The, the, the children, unborn children are going to wake up and start crying like babies. Mm -hmm. You know, and start crying and start paying something that they don't know anything about. The useless airport you are talking about, you are posting in, in, the, in, in your useless poster for B10. It's not yours. Chinese belt. And it's debt on the head of Zambian people. Everything is okay for you. You have bought a private jet. Eh? So immediately COVID finish, wow, wow, wow. Immediately you lose the election, you enter, you fly away. And that allows the Zambian people to suffer. You, it will never be well with you. I'm telling you. You and your minister. 
eh? all the roads Chinese. Tell me one thing that is owned by Zambia. ZNBC Chinese with that stop start. ZNBC was not going to migrate to, to digital. Controlled by Chinese, ZNBC, your own national broadcaster, shame on you. There is no country in the world that China has access to their national broadcaster except Zambia. You have sold Zambia cheap. You have sold Zambia like the way they sold Jesus Christ. Three pieces of coin. It will never be well with you. It will never be well with you. I curse you. I curse you. I curse your family. I curse all your children. In the name of God, Father, I curse you. It will never be well with you. You sold the, 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 the nation for free. You've sold it for free. Eh? Zambian people will grow up and start serving Chinese. Eh? The mind is Chinese. Eh? The mind, Chinese. Eh? National broadcaster, Chinese. Zesco, Chinese. Airport, Chinese. One day, Chinese is going to tell everybody in Zambia to, 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 to walk the streets naked. And there is nothing they can do because you have sold them. Nonsense. I kiss you. I curse you. I curse you, Edgar Lunga. I curse you. I curse you in the name of God, Father. Olumba, Olumba, I curse you. Miruma, I curse you. I curse you. You are a curse to Africa. You are a curse to the nation of Zambia. I curse you. And I curse everybody that is looting Zambia together with you. I curse all of you. I curse you today. I curse you. God, you will never have peace. Even when you lose the election next year, you will never have peace. Even in prison, God, Father, is going to torment you. Torment your children. Those your children that are living like kings, they are going to suffer. They are going to suffer. You don't have heart. Eh? People of Zambia are suffering. Eh? Zambia is going to become slave to China. You don't care. Hmm? You gallivant up and down. You are campaigning up and down. I curse you this night. In the name of God, Father, you are cursed. Any pastor that will pray for you to remove this case is cursed. Your children are cursed. Everyone in support of what you are doing in Zambia, they are cursed. They are cursed. I curse them. I curse them today. I curse them today. To get everyone in your family, I curse them. All the people that are looting Zambia together with you, I curse them. In the name of God, Father, they will never succeed. They will never have peace together with you. Nonsense. Tell me. I'm sorry for losing my temper, you know. I'm sorry for losing my temper, you know. I know what Zambian people have gone through. And I know what they were about to go through in the next five years. Zambia was going to be... Anyway, it is well. Are you sure the army is going to support us? Come on. Here where I am. I am in the reception of everything that is happening in State House, Zambia. I'm not even talking outside State House. Everything that is happening in State House, I am in reception of it. The armies are the people that are writing me. They are crying. Forget. Let's wait for next year. I'm sorry for losing my mind, you know. It's a... It's a... There is nothing I can do. <laughs> Calm down. You're upset. Okay. I'm okay now.
any question i'm okay now any question and uh, i want to use this opportunity to speak about honorable chamba kawoma he has called me and uh, he has apologized to me and uh, he said it's not the one that was insulting me he said uh, someone that managed his account is the one that was writing insultive messages to me that is not the one that insulted me and uh, i forgive him and i want you to disregard what i said about him i forgive him because he called and they asked for apology i forgive him and uh, disregard what i said about him don't victimize him because he said it's not the one who was insulting me someone was using his account to insult me apparently a upn decada so i forgive him already and uh, this goes to as a warning to those people who are in zambia you are insulting me i only speak the truth i only talk the truth i don't know how to lie i don't know why you insult me you insult me for saying the truth you call me a satanist you have never seen satan before you call me a magician you have never seen me performing magician before or i've never called myself a magician what i'm fighting for in zambia is a uh, is for is for your future you know a, a zambia is too small zambia is is such a small nation that god has blessed with too much resources every child born in zambia is supposed to be getting salary every month because zambia is too blessed there is no country in africa that is as blessed as zambia with the type of resources you have in zambia I was there for seven eight years the type of resources you have in Zambia, there is no country that has it. If you had a good president, everybody in Zambia is supposed to be getting salary by the end of the month, whether you are working or you are not working. Zambia was going to be like Dubai. But what is killing Zambia is corruption. If you can have a good president, many of you don't even need to, many of you don't even need to, uh, many of you don't even need to work. So the president government will be paying you salary but the way it is today you cannot even do business they call you lazy they call zambian youth lazy but there is no environment to do business many of you have started business before and it collapsed because you cannot compete for example a zambian man want to start selling uh, clothes you go and get a shop in a, in a, in a, in a kamwala where you are getting your shop the next person is an indian an indian has a good avenue and india has a capacity of selling something cheaper than a zambian that's why zambia a zambian will start business it collapses there is no capacity there is no environment to protect their business there is no environment you know to build their business there is no environment to elevate their business why because of useless leaders because of foolish leaders zambia people are not lazy zambian people are more hard working than zambian people compared to the south africa compared to zimbabwe zambian people are more hard working and more intelligent but what is killing them is leadership there is no avenue for trading okay you want to start trading now you want to start importing goods from south africa quarter does not have value even before your goof your 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 goofs arrives in zambia it is finished hmm? it is finished there is no avenue there is no government only government of thieves government of criminals
Eh? They just eat alone. They don't have an avenue. You know, they, 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 Zambia is too blessed. The people are so intelligent. The people are so wise. I, 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 I was even speaking to BBC the other day. I said Zambia can run without a president because the people are already organized in their brain. You know, the people have respect in their brain. But what is killing Zambia is useless leaders. There is no country on earth that has intelligent people like Zambia. Look, the president of Zimbabwe graduated from Zambia. How many people, how many intellectuals have Zambia pro provided, have produced? But because of useless government, if government can create an avenue, an avenue that will bring down Kwacha, an avenue that, 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 we, that we create employment to so many people. I was on, uh, on, on, on President HH, I was on his... Uh, on his uh, page today, you know, he was saying, look, they have started pasting b board everywhere for B10. Youths are suffering, but millions are being released to create b board for useless things. Eh? Why not use that money? Eh? Uh, even, if you, even if you don't know how to do it, Edigalungu, remove even uh, uh, 100 million and send to Zambia people using AT money. Let them eat. At least let them eat with you. If you don't know what to do with the money. Hmm? That money that you are using to put B-board everywhere on a project that has failed already. That money you can use it and build something for the youths. Hmm? HH advised you to buy cow and give to the youths. Let youths start growing cow. You can actually use it and pay retirees. Those people that serve the nation, they don't have their money. They have been promised by giving Lubinda and 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 nothing is happening. Why not you that money you are spending on billboard? Use it and better the life of your people. You are a very selfish human being, Eddie Galungo. I have never seen in my life. I have never seen in my life. If uh, if greediness was a person, I never seen him. I never believed in my life. The day you cried at Hero Stadium, in my house, I jumped, hey, thinking that I was jumping for a human being, not knowing that I was jumping for an idiot. Hmm? Hmm? Today you have you have you have a uh, money to make B board. Council workers are not being paid. You are owing council workers. Eh? Mao Sampa is now working. Council workers are not getting salary because your cadres are getting the money from the intercity, from the bus stations. Where is he going to get money to pay the workers? You don't give the money. You don't supply the money. And now you have money to pay for B-board. Hmm? People are suffering in the villages. Look the stupidity Boman Lusambo was doing to innocent ladies. Sharing small, small money to them. And giving them some stupid, useless rappers. Eh? Those money, Edgar Lung, why you don't use it to build houses for teachers? Eh? Edgar Lung, you can actually build more schools. Because a lot of teachers have graduated many, many years ago, but they can't find a job. That money you are wasting on B10. Use it and build more school. Let teachers get employed. Teachers don't have houses. Police don't have houses. At Actually, the money you are wasting on building that thing on B10, why not use it and increase the salary of the police? Because you have 10 police to cadres. At least pay your cadres very well. Ah, Come, come. And please remember, I don't have any representative in Zambia. Those people in Zambia that are telling you, send money to me. There is one that calls himself Silombo. Uh, Isaac Piri, what, what, what. I don't have any representative. Don't send your money to anybody. This is the only page that I have. This page here is the only page that CIA1 have. I don't have any other page. No any other account anywhere. This is the only page that I have. So make sure that you follow this page after the broadcast and the, don't send your money. I don't have any representative in Zambia. Anybody that tell you in Zambia, send money and make miracle money for you, is a lie. Anyone that says, send money, I'm son of CIA1, I want to make miracle money for you, is a lie. I don't have any representative in Zambia. <sighs> ECL already lost election 2021. Of course, who is going to vote for him? 
greed. You want to vote. When, if you are voting for Edgar Long, you are voting for Chinese. You are voting for slavery. I'm telling you the gospel truth. You come and tell me. Ask me your question. Mm. Point. You are very. You are very right, boss. Blessed Eric. God bless you. Thank you for talking to us, Mike Manza. God bless you, Mike. You have spoken my mind. I'm relieved. Hastin Banda. God bless you. Serious police have become cadets, of course. Not because they want to, but because Eddie Galungu has done. He's already gone. Kayan Tamusunda, of course, he's gone. Even ladies scammer. There are also ladies that are using my name to scam you. I don't have any representative in Zambia. Don't send them. If you want a do as I say product for miracle money or for marriage or for what or for healing or whatever, the, my number is there. I've pinned it here in the comment section. You only send me a message on WhatsApp. Send me a message to say, see, I want, I want this product. I tell you what, how it to go about it. You get it. Nobody else in Zambia has it or anywhere in South Africa. This is the only number I have. True son of the... Thank you. Thank you for the enlightenment, Jagaban. God bless you. Papa, I need to have power. It depends on the power you want. But if you want power, you must send me a message on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is there. I've pinned it in the comment section. I love the way you talk. May God bless you. Willie Simbae. Simba. God bless you. See, I want to tell God, Father, if you want to sacrifice, I can get PF. <laughs> uh, you love Zambia. I can see your emotional... You are so hot. Thank you for loving this country. Thank you so much. You have said it's here one. But where were you? Even when, when I was in Zambia, I was giving good advices to them. Things were not bad like this. I was giving good advices to them. There are people who say Sia one only started talking when he was when he was deported. I started talking from Zambia. If they make mistake, I tell them. You know, it was not like this. The stealing and the looting. It's, it was not like this. Do you know how many animals that are living in Zambia every blessed day? Eh? Do you know how many animals that are living in Zambia every blessed day? They, they have looted Zambia completely. There is nothing left. Mukula tree. Do you know how many Mukula tree that is remaining in Zambia? What is left in Zambia? They have looted everything completely. Thieves. Lung is gone and must be arrested. Ruben Kaira, of course. But you don't answer your WhatsApp. I answer, but you know, there are thousands of WhatsApp messages that I receive. When it's your turn, I'm going to answer you. You can, you can send me a message on WhatsApp. See, on the time I started following you, my eyes got open to truth. Live long, brother man. Then die, Hanziba. God bless you. This time we will not fear anyone. We will protest. Prepare yourself next, next by during the time of national registration card. Watch what will be happening. I have seen it in the spirit. The the opposition where they have stronghold, the the machine they are planning to give them is going to be tampered with. Once you hear that, know that it is time to fight for your own country, Zambia. It is time to protect your land. It is time. I told the Galunga will make it impossible for him to rig. Let him come and rig. Let me see. He know that on the actual day of election, he cannot be able to rig. Now he's trying to use all this useless thing. Prisoners are going to vote. Let them vote. Registration of stronghold only. Let continue. Even after registering, they are not going to vote for you. Uh, 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 preventing opposition from campaign and campaign alone. Continue campaigning. You have been rejected. You have been rejected. Mm. See, I want Mandev Basic School. I miss you. God bless you. I miss you too, my children. What do you think about, about Bom and Lusambo giving PF control? This is the stupidity. I've already addressed it. The man is an idiot. He don't have brain, you know. There is nothing in his brain. 
true son of Africa, I pass, of course. Man of words, live long. God bless you. Thank you. You have opened our eyes, Chakaban Chuma. God bless you, Chuma. Stop the plan. Of course, we are working on that. I've already said it. We are the Papa, you have really nailed it today. Only those that with, with hidden agenda will hurt you. Thank you. Mul Mulaye, say we love you. I love you too. Thank you. It's time for change. Nothing happens by chance, of course. Time to change has come. Can you help someone even if they can't afford do as I say? Of course, I do help people from all over the world. Do as I say is not for everybody. As you can see, the products are very expensive because of getting it from Nigeria is very expensive. Bringing it here is very, very expensive. And the work they do also are big works. That's why they are very expensive. See, I want to tell them how PF consult to Malawi which doctor. I addressed that one uh, during my last broadcast. You can watch it as well. Mm. Mm. So please pray for me. I want a job in UPND. In UPND, what basically I can advise Aka in the Chilema is that uh, create a good environment. Uh, a good uh, environment for the people of Zambia, trade environment, you know, industrial environment. Everyone will get a job. Zambia, you are the one that you are you are calling me on true color. You want to be insulted. If I insult you now, they will say, see, I want has insulted a woman. Don't call me on true color, please. Mm. HH must create a good environment. That's all. Everyone can be employed. Believe me. Mm. So was rejected. Now Lungu is rejected. Of course, Lungu is gone. You are really a Jagaban. You always speak the truth. John Banda, thank you. From the time I started watching, you have opened my eyes. Mm. God bless you. Thank you. Com comfort says you are so intelligent. Thank you for that. Please see one. The JK is about to what? Come again. <laughs> You are the voice of the voicelet in a mother Zambia. Of course. Thank you for that. Only idiots blame me. Of course. Show us the picture of Godfather. Good evening, Papa. Love you. Bernard Mpundu. I'm a Jagaban now. You are welcome. And tell them. See, I want to block them from rig. They are not going to manage to rig. Forget it. Jagaban, I've never seen you angry. I was like, today. You know? It is well. Continue speaking the truth. See, I want to need impartation. There is nothing like impartation, you know? Those things are stupid things. If you want power, you send me a message on WhatsApp. I tell you what. You need to do to get power. There is nothing like uh, impartation. Those things are, they don't work. Mm, true. I just want you to tell me where have you watched me from. Comment where you have watched me from. I want to read your countries now. Tell me where you have watched me from. You are true and the open. Much love for you. Sherry, Tasha. God bless you. You have really helped us here. One Nalu Nalu. God bless you now. Tell them I have seen your emotion. First to Richard, of course. Thank you. Thank you, Sia One, for helping us. Thank you, Tito. Advice the useless disgruntled youth be supporting PF. <laughs> There are people that are supporting PF because they are PF members, but they are hungry, you know. They can see that uh, Edgar Lungu has destroyed their country together with Chinese and others. But uh, many of them have waking up. Many of them from PF, they are waking up, you know. They, they, they are back to their senses and many more will still wake up. 
uh, as the confusion in PF continues. You have really opened our eyes. Thank you. Watching from Zambia, Central Province. Wow, God bless. Watching from Mufrila Copper Belt. <laughs> Mufrila people. You yeah, are too much. You have really set a precedent in Zambia. You took your country in your own hand. It is your country. Your country does not belong to Boma and Lusambo. Your country is not kitchen for Eddie Galungu. Your country is your country. I love you for that, Mufrila people. Copper Belt people, I love you. We need your help. See, I want, please keep, keep speaking. I'm going to continue speaking. I am somebody, when I start supporting something, I have started. I will never support Eddie Galungu. There is nothing good about Eddie Galungu. Nothing. I know him. Anyone that was supporting HH and all of a sudden start saying something good about Eddie Galungu must, must bath. And think again, that guy can never do anything good except he benefit from it. There is nothing good about the guy. Not even a single thing. If Eddie Galungu cries, he's looking for vote. If Eddie Galungu builds a road, he's looking for money in his pocket. If Eddie Galungu laughs with you, he wants to bite you. There is nothing good about him. Forget it. Mm. Watching from Zambia, guy, you are helping us through your telecast. God bless you. Prince Gift from Zambia, Kapiri. Wow, Kapiri, God bless you. I see a lot of people from the Copper Belt are watching. Continue, continue educating people in Copper Belt. Continue telling them, you know, continue educating them. Continue enlightening them about the corruption that uh, Kosue and his friends are doing here in Lusaka. You know, continue, continue. Lusaka people, we are ready for PF Kadas. Of course, I heard them. They said the P uh, Lusaka is no good area for. How can a president allow his political leaders to be issuing such useless statements? Everyone in PF is just mad. Mad, mad, maddest. <laughs> mad, mad. Not even a single sane person in PF. Everyone is mad. Look at the type of careless statement they are issuing. And that you can see the reason why they have destroyed Zambia the way it is. Mm. Watching from Mufrila. Wow. Copper belt people. I love you so much, you know. Watching from Kapiri. My God. Copper belt people. From Kalulushi. Wow. <laughs> it's copper belt, copper belt, copper belt, copper belt. Continue. Start educating people. Go to the house one by one. Tell them what people are going through in Zambia. So that during the time of election, they will not vote for somebody that will hand them over to Chinese. Someone that have destroyed their country completely. Someone that have destroyed the economy completely. Continue educating them. I'm educating people in Luapula. Wow. Mwawa Mwale. I'm educating people in Mwapula. In Luapula province. PF is living. Go ahead. Educate them in Luapa. Educate everybody. At least if you can make it a point that every day you speak to five people about the corruption of PF, believe me, your reward is going to be great. Zambia belongs to you. Mm. Continue talking, watching from Choma. Wow, Choma, God bless you. Wow, wow, wow. Kate Mwale, watching from South Africa. Wow, we are together here. Watching from Chilabombe. It's like I have more followers from Copper Belt. I wish Godfather, uh, no, I wish I didn't swear on Godfather uh, about coming to Zambia, you know. I was going to come to Copper Belt. I was going to come to the stadium to make a supernatural crusade for the people of uh, Copper Belt. But unfortunately, because I've already sworn in the name of Godfather, who is the mighty, 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 I will not be able to come. But I love you, Copper Belt. Continue. Oswell, code, code, we say, I'm watching from Garden. Are you sure that you are speaking to people in Garden? But Simon Mwewa doesn't like you. He doesn't like me. <laughs> but I'm still tall. You know? I still eat food. You know? I still pay my bills. You know? I still do everything I want. I don't want anybody to like me if you cannot pay my bills. If you are paying my bills or 
if you feed me or if you do things for me you can like me if you don't i don't need the like <laughs> i don't care <laughs> you know mm. watching from copper bell chingola it's like a, it's like a, help us papa our voters card is uh, already out <laughs> No, the vote, the vote, Eddie Galungu will see next year. <laughs> it will be fire for fire. <laughs> mm. Watching from Luapula. Wow, good to see that Luapula is watching. God bless Luapula. Go ahead. I know what is going on where they are saying they are issuing the NRCs to, to people in Luapula. After getting that NRC, vote for a church. Don't vote for Eddie Galungu. Even if they bring money, eat it. Like the way that... Uh, Idiot was galavanti, but Papa Foolish people don't like you. Watching from Chingola, of course. Wow, Copper Belt. Nguni blessing. I'm watching from Chingola, Copper Belt. Copper Belt people, you are too, you are too dangerous. So you have gained weight. Wow. Look good. You know, it's not, it's because of the food we eat here. Yeah, it's GMO. <laughs> it's not original weight. <laughs> you know, they feed us with fertilizer. <laughs> Uh, but thank you. <laughs> mm. Elijah from Solwezi, Zambia. Wow, God bless Solwezi. Tashos Mulenga, watching from Western Ghana. Ghana is here today. Wow, God bless Ghana. Love you so much. I'll, I'll be coming to Ghana in December. Watching from Kalulushi, Copper Belt. Wow, Copper Belt. I think I must open a church for you there in Copper Belt and send you someone that will come there and help you with do as I say. <laughs> because there are too many. It's like my page is dominated by Copper Bell people. Watching from Lusaka. I dreamt you giving me miracle money. Send me a message on WhatsApp. See, one, you should be the president of Africa. <laughs> they will not allow me to be the president. <laughs> but Africa was going to change immediately. So, where's this watching? We love you. Watching from Lusaka. Chilala Mas. Mitch, God bless you. Anyway, enjoying watching you from Kabwe. Wow. Thank you so much. Alice, watching from Livingstone. This support you have from Copper Belt is like Fufu Veve. <laughs> God bless you. I love Copper Belt too much. Watching from Muchinga and Pika. Wow. That's good. I'm glad that those people that they call their their stronghold. There are more people that are watching me. It's for you to see that you don't have a stronghold. <laughs> you don't have a bedroom. You are gone. Mm. Watching from Copper Belt. God bless Kalulushi Copper Belt. Okay. God bless you. I'm going to leave you here tonight. And uh, watch out. Honorable Chishimba Kambuil. I saw in the spirit. August. They want to... Uh, Convict him and put him in cell so that he cannot be able to stand. When it happened, know that Siawan already told you their plans. Watch out. Uh, 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 next month, when they start voters registration card, in the opposition area, I saw in the spirit that they want to give them fake machines, machine that will manufacture. So that when it happened, they say we are taking it to Lusaka to repair, just to delay them from having been registered keep these two words with you and you will know that i'm a jagaban i don't lie the same way i told you about covid and their minister tested covid keep these two words zambian people let your eyes be open i love you so much bye